Many, many colors. And then we've got a G and D. It's Haz from Haz Motorsport and today we've got this BMW 320i in. It's a G20 model and it's 2019-2020. The ECU is actually locked on these for programming through the OBD port. So we have to run a bench unlock by pinning into the ECU and locking the OBD port to a patch. So we're gonna get that done on this so we can run a uh, boot mode uh, stage two software. So I'm just gonna remove the uh, battery. Battery disconnected. CU location on these. It's pretty decent. It's right there. So we just pull this ECU fuse cover off. We've actually got for these cars a carbon engine cover you know and the carbon fuse covers we do which is a, a great little thing but yeah so you can see these are the ECU lock tabs so realistically if we unplug these this should just rip out but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug directly into it from the car so there's no point pulling out the ECU so we'll pull a few of these tabs off and we'll pin into it so on this MG1 ECU um, it's the first tab, so let's get this one opened, push that in, pops out, and then we've got the second to last, which is this one, push that in, and insert so comes over, okay, might not fold over, so I might have to take these off as well, just to get to it. Usually a lot of people label them. What I'll do is I'll take a quick picture <laughs> mm -hmm. so I know exactly which ones they are. Now, if you want to come around here, you can have a look at these pins on the ECU. These pins in here. So we're going to pin into the first port and the second to last. Many, many colors. And then we've got a G and D black one. Ground basically, power on ground. Either power from the second pin to in the middle from the bottom. Yeah, so we pinned in on that side. Now on this side, 12 volt can minus can plus. So another 12 volt. We're gonna do a, a ID on the ECU anyway before we um, take a read or write. So once we ID the ECU, we'll be able to tell if everything's connected okay. So I'm gonna get this now all plugged in. Just gonna ID this uh, ECU MG1C. Yeah, so we've got an identification. Everything seems good connection established and then we can get a read on this ECU so basically just reading the ECU through the bench protocol so once this is done we can apply our OBD patch so the ECU can be read and written through the OBD port and then we can put boot mode on it so we are writing our file on now with the bench patch um, and it's done so yeah so now this car can be tuned with boot mode probably give it to the customer with the OBD um, cable and let him crack on and have some fun with boot mode so we're just gonna unpin this now um, re remove the DC plug and just unpinning these. Always take some pictures or videos when you're unplugging these um, because the connectors and pins can be the same. So you want to get the correct um, order. One here, the yellow one, so plug that in. Then we had the one with the white tab, that went in here. Plug that in. I'm just gonna take that off because that didn't get in. Right. Make sure they're locked in tabs. Make sure the thing is plugged into the ECU before clicking the locking tab. 
Then it's the blue one. Plug that all the way in. Lock that up. Then we got the grey one. That one's plugged in. Locked up. And lastly, this black one here. Plugged in. Locked up. Just make sure, double check everything's plugged in nicely. All locked in, no cables are loose. Good to go. We just need to connect the battery back up now and start our up. We've connected the ECU back and plugged all the plugs in. Now I'm just putting this fuse cover back on, ECU cover. Good to go. Guys, hope you like the video. If you require any uh, ECU bench unlocks doing on BMWs, give us a shout. And if you want more content like this, like, comment, share, subscribe. Uh, we'll be sure to upload more. Peace.